Hard. And our final coach, what we are going to hear from, when Jean Ponsetto went to hire a new basketball coach, she looked around the country and she went and found, she went big game hunting and she landed her man. And he is doing an unbelievable job and I think this is going to be a big breakthrough year for the Paul Blue Demons in the Big East. It's Oliver Purnell. Everybody who has not been introduced, please stand up. <laughs> no, it's, um, first of all, Dave, uh, no question. Uh, at Paul, we really appreciate what you do, uh, not only uh, on the floor and on the field, but what you do in life in terms of the giving of your time uh, and yourself. Uh, just, just know that you're really appreciated at Paul. Um, I'd like to introduce just a, a, a couple of people. Uh, everybody knows who Jeannie is, and she's been introduced a few times. But when you go around, when you go around the Big East, uh, when, you, when, you, when you talk about Jeannie, they say she's simply the best. Jeannie, please stand up. Uh, my athletic trainer is, uh, is here, Jeff Derrico. Big stand. Our sports information director is here. <laughs> Very quickly, uh, my coaching staff: Billy Garrett, <laughs> Carol, Captain <laughs> Edwards. <laughs> the rest of them better be recruiting. excited uh, about this year, uh, and, and the reason that I'm, I'm uh, really excited is, is because I've done this uh, thing now four times, and this is the fifth, and it's that third year that you know, things uh, really start to turn, and, and, and I, I definitely believe you know, that is the case. Uh, just going to say a couple words, uh, the time's getting late. By the way, any coach in here got to go to the bathroom like I did? <laughs> Somebody? Joe? <laughs> Uh, just a couple of uh, things about uh, you know our team uh, and the uh, upcoming season. A little bit about the uh, uh, Big East, and, and, and we'll let you go. Um, the reason that uh, the big reason that I'm really excited uh, about the upcoming season, uh, uh, these guys are here with me, and that's our core leadership group. And uh, so I'd just like to introduce them uh, very quickly. Uh, a point guard on our team that we picked up late last year, paid uh, paid. Uh, Big time dividend for us. Uh, came in and gave us 19 uh, minutes a game and ended up being our leading three point shooter. But we're all flocked. <laughs> a young man that we're really counting on last year, uh, and unfortunately he was banged up all last year with a stress fracture in his back. Really battled back and still gave us minutes last year. And uh, I'm a happy man here today because he's 100%. And uh, he's a guy that we're really counting on uh, this year as one of our big guys, uh, not only in the middle, but, uh, uh, but in the corner, Donovan Kirk. <laughs> Another guy that was uh, banged up uh, for us last year. Uh, one of the most valuable players, I think, in the Big East, certainly one of our most valuable players, uh, maybe the best shooter in the, in the Big East, and hopefully we can keep him from missing six or seven games uh, this year, if we do, we're going to be in great shape. Moses Morgan. Uh, we return uh, two of the top uh, five scores in the Big East. This first young man is not only a, a terrific scorer, but he's a point guard for our team. Uh, as a junior, we're expecting outstanding leadership uh, from him. We're also expecting an all Big East performance out of him, uh, Brandon Young. Leading score, returning score in the Big East. Former Rookie of the Year in the Big East. Uh, average 17 a game for us. Uh, really, we need for him to rebound that basketball just a little bit better. If he does, I think he could be the Big East Player of the Year and obviously lead us to postseason play. Cleveland Melton. Four, uh, our top four scores, as I mentioned, two of the top five scores in the Big East. So, uh, you know, we're really excited about having that much offensive potential back. But we 
really got to become a better defensive team. You know, our pressure was really good last year. Our half court defense was was suspect. Uh, we got to guard the ball better. We got to rebound the ball better. Uh, and, and with that in mind, we really started workouts yesterday. We saved our two hours a week this week that you can work with your guys in the off season. We started those yesterday. We start back in earnest today and practice in just a defensive uh, mini camp. And, and our guys so far have embraced that concept. And if we continue to do that, uh, this team has a tremendous amount of potential. This team can turn the corner. This team can go po to postseason play as long as we take each and every practice with a defensive mindset. And they believe in themselves as much as, as, as I believe in them. Uh, I, I couldn't sleep uh, the other night before our first workout uh, because of, of the potential uh, that we have. As we start the season, uh, we've got a tough non-conference schedule. Uh, uh, as well. We're at Arizona State, we're at Auburn, uh, just to name a few of the, uh, we're playing Wichita State in the, uh, the Cancun uh, Classic, uh, Iowa's in that, Western Kentucky, and then we play obviously several schools that, that are up here. And by the way, in my opinion, uh, we all ought to play each other in some form or fashion uh, uh, during, during the coming season. What do you think about that? Thank you. 